James Kaufman, World News Report today, August 8th, 2025. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Today is, well, the day of the Lionsgate portal opening. Y'all remember to meditate and ask out loud for what y'all desire. In the meantime, we've just had another M-class solar flare, an M2.91 solar flare, directly Earth-facing, coming off our old friend, Sunspot Group, AR4168. Now, I don't know if it's a Delta-class sunspot anymore or not. It's not showing up as one. I'll give you what I've got. It looks like it peaked around 3.54 UTC time right around four so let's say central time here in the u.s it must have peaked around 9 p.m again 9 p.m it looks like a m 2.91 m 2.92 that solar flare would be earth directed if there was a coronal mass ejection lifted from it jumping over to spaceweatherlive.com can see the event has not been logged yet. I believe it did come from AR4168. And again, it looks like an M2.9 solar flare. It's very hard to tell if there was a CME lifted from it. Currently, we still have a 10% chance of having an X flare, a 55% chance of having an M class solar flare. That ship has sailed several times. And we've been maintaining a C solar flare all throughout the day. Over to HMI Intensogram, it's still saying that AR4168 is a Delta class sunspot group here. You can see it located right here. We also have 4172, which is a beta gamma sunspot group. And we have, let's see, 247 simple sunspot groups. 4170, 4161, 4173, 4174, 4165, 4169, and 4171. Several that look like they could become more complex, including AR4165 right here. All right, there's not going to be any doubt where the flare came from. There it is right there. AR4168. As promised, that thing has been busy. We also have that earth-facing coronal hole. Today we're expecting, or tonight, from 1 to 7, we're expecting a G1 and G2 geomagnetic storm from 1 p.m. to 7 a.m. Central Time. So in about 30 minutes from now, we should drop into a G1 geomagnetic storm based on two things. A flare that went off on the 5th and the coral hole that's been earth facing for about 45 hours now. Over to our D region absorption prediction center. You can see that flare popped off and left x rays uh, pounding well, all of Japan, parts of China, Russia, all the Philippines, part of Indonesia, parts of Papua New Guinea. New Zealand and even portion of northern Australia there. Taking a look at NOAA's KP index breakdown August 8th, 9th, and 10th. We're looking at tonight, guys. Again, this starts at 1 p.m. Central here. Looking for a G1 geomagnetic storm from 1 to 4 and from 4 to 7 a G2 geomagnetic storm so I wouldn't look forward to a great night of sleep at 6 hours of a geomagnetic storm going up to a G2 that is expected and that's going to be a combo of the solar flare the M flare that popped off on the 5th and the coronal hole and the solar winds that it's producing there one, two punching, both pretty much hitting at the same time here. All right, taking a look at the KP indexes. This is going to be 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. Central. 
the next bar is about to drop that's going to be our 10 to 1 we'll drop in about one hour from now uh, we could see the start of a geomagnetic storm at that time but right now there is nothing going on on our boulder our fredericksburg our estimated planetary or college kp index which is a summary of the plasma and solar winds hitting earth at any given time these are three hour periods each bar is a three hour period all right over to our discover real time solar wind satellite we'll regularly see data here anywhere from about 45 to 90 minutes in advance depending on the speed of the plasma or solar winds and we're not seeing a real uptick in plasma here in orange nothing um, that would be any type of geomagnetic storm and well solar winds are actually headed down we're expecting a big bump in solar winds they expected one by days in on the 7th and that did not work out so they're calling for a g1 three hours worth and a g2 three additional hours worth starting in about one hour we'll keep our eyes and ears open for that and i'll let y'all know in the morning if that did occur god bless y'all have a wonderful evening i hope y'all sleep through this please share please subscribe and always remember anything's possible in bizarro world god bless you all